today's video we are going to see how to divide some of the numbers like 218 divided by 2 251 divided by 5 and going on to 300 divided by 425 and how to write some of the numbers in mixed fraction First number. So first number is two one eight divided by two. So two times one is two. Two times the second number. One. So we have to see whether it is coming in two tables or not. 2 times 1 is 2 so it should be 2 times 0 is it so 2 into 0 is 0 1 minus 0 is again 1 so down 8 so that again so now 2 times 9 8 8 so this is our answer is We tend to ignore this number if it is not divisible or it is less than the divisor. So we have to make sure that you multiply by 0. First number. Focus on the first number. Is it divisible by 5? No. So we should multiply it by 0. 5 times 0 is 0. So 2 minus 0, 2. Five. So 5 times 5 is 25. We get 0 again. Take down 1. So is it divisible? No. So 5 times 0 is 0. So we get 1. Take it down. We get 15. 5 times 3 is 15. So yes, it is divisible. So therefore the answer is 0503. We do not start any number by 0. So we can write it as 50. Hopefully you understood this method. Let's take down some of some more examples. One, two, six, nine, six divided by twelve. So in this case, so twelve times one is twelve. So zero. Take down six. So one at a time. Even if it is two digit, we are dividing it by two digit number, one at a time. So is it divisible or it is more than 12? No, it is less than 12. So 12 times 0 is 0, 6, 9. So we have to read the, read the table 12 until we get 69 or less than that. So 12 times 5 is 60, we get 9, 6, so 12 times 8 is 96, so we get 0. So therefore the answer is 1058. We will take a similar question like this but this time I will be taking a different number. So 1, 2, 6, 9, 6 divided by this time 8, 6, 8, 6 
divided by 12. So in this case 12 times 1, 12, 0, 6, let us repeat the process 0, 0. Once you are comfortable with this process, you can skip the steps. You can straightway write 0 with 8. So this time also uh, by 5, 60, you get 8, 6. Now this time we won't be able to divide, multiply it by 8 because 12 times 8 is 96, which is more than 86. So what we will be doing is 12 times 7, 12 times 7 is 84, so we got the remainder 2. So what to do when we have the remainder? So we should use QRD, quotient, quotient is 1057 and remainder is 2 and divisor is 12. So this and this can be reduced 1, 6, 2 times 1, 2 and 2 times 6 is 12. So the answer is 1, 0, 5, 7, 1 by 6. Let's take one more example, last example for this topic. Which is three zero zero four five divided by twenty five. So twenty five times one twenty five. So we get five remainder zero take down zero. So twenty five times two fifty we get 0, take down 4. So in 25, 4 is less than that. So 0. 25 times 0 is 0. Make sure you do this step. Because if you are uh, having any confusion why the 0 is coming, so do this step. Slowly and gradually you can skip this. So now we get 5. So 25 into 2 is 50, so into 1 is yes, 25, so we get 20. So again QRD form, therefore, the symbol is for therefore, quotient is 1, 2, 0, 1, the remainder is 20 and divisor is 25. Since these two can be reduced, so we will reduce it. This number is divisible by 5 and this number is also divisible by 5. So we have to see a common table. So 5 times 4, 5 times 5. So therefore the answer is 1, 2, 0, 1, 4 by 5 is our answer. So if you have any doubt, you can just comment in the comment box. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.